And to break it all down for us, we have our correspondent, Yotam Confino, with us live from Tel Aviv. So, Yotam, tell us about these missile launching sites. How worried should Israel be about this? I think Israel is very worried about this. Not only does Hezbollah have more than 100,000 rockets and missiles in their arsenal, they are also seeming to hide these missiles launching sites in civilian areas in Beirut. And they also seem to have a lot of missiles that, ha that can actually reach more than 300 kilometers, which, is, uh, which can reach... Uh, Tel Aviv, for example, and other densely populated areas in Israel. So this is, of course, a major uh, headache for Israel and something that they're looking at closely. Amazing. Now, surely Israel is aware of Hezbollah's missile capacity, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, Israel is not surprised by this. In fact, two years ago, Prime Minister Netanyahu went to the United Nations General Assembly and showed satellite photos of what he said was precision-guided missile sites in Beirut, very close to the airport and also in, in densely uh, populated areas. And he had this message for Hezbollah back then. Let's see what he had to say. Israel also knows what you're doing. Israel knows where you're doing it. And Israel will not let you get away with it. Now, if Hezbollah is indeed placing these advanced missiles in civilian areas, it obviously makes it more difficult for Israel to then strike them, correct? Very difficult. In fact, it's a very similar tactic as Hamas in Gaza is using. Hamas is also known to hide their rocket launchers in civilian areas. And when we saw in Operation Protective Edge in 2014, when Israel launched that campaign, they hit a lot of civilians because a lot of these sites are hidden in areas where it's almost impossible not to hit uh, civilians. So the same ob obviously goes here for Beirut. If Israel were to attack these launching sites, they would also kill civilians. So it's a major, major challenge for Israel. Now, how prepared is Israel for an escalation with Hezbollah, you know, at this point, especially when the country is dealing with coronavirus? Look, Hezbollah has been a number one priority for Israel for a long time, and Israel is prepared. In fact, they have three different air defense systems ready for these uh, specific attacks. They have the Iron Dome missile defense system, which usually takes care of the rockets coming from Gaza. Then they have the David Sling air defense system, which takes care of rockets and missiles that can uh, that have a range of up to 300 kilometers. And then they have the last but very, very advanced air defense system, which is the Aero defense system, and that can actually actually shoot down ballistic missiles. So they are prepared, but again, with more than 100,000 rockets and missiles at the disposal of Hezbollah, you never really know what will happen if they actually engage in a full-on war. All right, Yotam, thank you so much for joining us with some insight.